Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. So today, today, before I get started, Wakanda forever. I just had to do that. Um, <laughs> anyway, today we will be talking about, talking about who influenced me to purchase these fragrances. So this fragrance video is called, I was influenced but this is the vanilla edition. So if you're interested, please keep watching. Before we get started with the video, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Roxanne and this is Roxanne's Retreat. If this is your first time joining me, thank you and welcome. And if you've been here before and you've decided to come back, big up your whole self. Truly appreciate your continued support of my channel. As always, before we get into the fragrances dim, let's talk about my scent of the day. So today my scent of the day is this one right here and this is just the body mist from Nesk and this is the Balinese coconut. I love it. It's one of the coconuts that actually work on my skin. And today, since I was talking about um, vanillas, I was like, let me just throw a little bit of coconut on the skin. I didn't overspray it. It's just like a light. To me, it's definitely a lighter version than the oil. Absolutely less expensive than the oil, but you still get that same sweet coconutty vibe so this is my scent of the day and this is from nest and this is balinese coconut okay y'all so i have 12 fragrances in front of me that um 13 different content creators influenced me in purchasing them because there's one fragrance that two content creators influenced me yeah they did it simultaneously yeah they're that good okay so I have notes, I have the fragrances, I don't want to make the video too long, so let's go. The first one I have here is maybe the newest vanilla to my collection, and this one is called Vani 12 O'Clock from Francesca de Oro. Is that it? Yeah, de Oro. Francesca de Oro. Who influenced me to purchase this? No one but Veronica says. This woman went on and on and on about this fragrance and I said I need to smell it I need to get my nose on it she even made fun of the cap and I want to tell you sis I am with you they could have done better it's such a beautiful bottle I like the um you know the different angles and the facets that the bottle has yeah but they could have done better with the cap the fragrance though on point the fragrance is on point it's like a light to me, it's more of like a light, airy vanilla that even though the notes sound like it's something that's going to be like super thick and dense and heavy, it really isn't. It's not like a gooey gourmand. It's, it's gourmand, but it's not gooey sticky. I think the, um, the fruits in the opening really, really balance this fragrance out and... I absolutely enjoy it. I'm so happy that Veronica raved about this and I decided to take the plunge. I get a lot of pear on my skin when I spray this first. So there's lots of pear. There's some peach, I think. Of course, there's vanilla. There's whipped cream. It's just a very nice fragrance. And the great part of it for me, since I live in the heat in Florida, is that you don't really have to wait till it's cold to pull this one off. I could pull this one off now. As you can see by my dent, I have been wearing it. And it's still 80, 90 degrees here. And I have not choked anybody out, nor myself. So I'm doing well. So yep, yeah, Veronica says, Veronica says, listen to what Veronica says. Because this one right here, Vani 12 O'Clock from Francesca Del Oro is definitely a hit. I was influenced. <laughs> Next up, let's get into the one that two creators influenced me to purchase. And this is Nebras from Latafa. And who influenced me to purchase this? Naturally Liz and Alali from Alali Pop. So Nebras to me is a perfect, perfect fall vanilla. 
there's it's like chocolate covered berries with some vanilla something drizzled on it i mean it's so good i think it's better than eilish i mean i had eilish in my collection i wore it it's done it's empty and i decided not to repurchase because i have no brass no brass is beautiful it's and when i did my top five latahas i don't know how i forgot this one because this one is definitely up there this is delicious this is a gorgeous fragrance and of course it is Latafa so the price is absolutely right I just want to spray some on my little tester strip here yep like I said chocolate covered berries very cozy very enveloping great for this time of year great for the fall winter this is perfection. Thank you to a lollipop and naturally Liz for making me spend my coin on an abrath. Definitely, definitely worth it. Beautiful vanilla fragrance and it really lasts on the skin. So check it out, check them out if you haven't already done so. Get influenced too, okay? <laughs> Next up we have this one here and this is Hypnotic Vanilla from Zara. Who do you guys think influenced me to purchase this one? No one but the one and only Coco Pebs. The one and only Coco Pebs who can describe a fragrance like no other person in the world. She is so thorough. And listen, when she did that vanilla, um, when she described all the Zara vanillas when these dropped a few months ago, I was like, man, all of them sound amazing. I wanted to get um, Supreme also, but I think it was sold out at the time. So I just got Hypnotic Vanilla. And y'all, this is like, of course, vanilla, caramel, there's moss. So it has like some, a little bit of an earthy tone. I smell the the kind of play-doh effect so if you don't like that kind of vibe stay away from this because this definitely has that but i get a hint of coffee i don't know where i'm getting the coffee from because coffee is not listed but my nose picks up a little bit of coffee in here somewhere maybe i spilled starbucks on myself i don't know but yeah i get a hint of coffee but hypnotic vanilla it, i think it's duping um Hypnotic Poison from Dior, and I have that one too, but guess what? This one lasts longer on my skin. So, yeah. Thank you, Coco Pebs. This one is a banger. I enjoy wearing this, and I think it's definitely suited for cooler temperatures. So hopefully, I'll get to wear it a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe I might go somewhere cool for a few days. Definitely not here. <laughs> but yes, this is Hypnotic Vanilla from Zara. Coco Pebs influenced me to purchase this one. Okay, next one right here is Gentle Fluidity Gold from MFK. Now this one is very loved in the community, very loved, and I love it. I absolutely love it myself. Who influenced me to purchase this one? It was the Amanda Marie. Now, sometimes when, you know, content creators talk about fragrances, you know, you could tell like, yeah, sometimes they're not so excited. You know, they're talking about the fragrance. They don't. When this lady was talking about this fragrance here, the enthusiasm and just the, you just felt it. You just felt that this was a fragrance that you needed to get your nose on. Needed to get your nose on. So, and I don't think she was the first person I heard speak about Gentle Fluidity Goal at all. I mean, I heard many content creators talk about this before I purchased it. But when she talked about it, that enthusiasm and that, yeah. So this one right here, it's very classy, very sophisticated. It has like a green opening with the juniper berries, but then the dry down is very soft and very powdery. I think this is an amazing signature scent because you can wear this fragrance, I think, all year long. Another masterpiece from the man himself, MFK. But yep, this is a gentle fluidity gold and the Amanda Marie made me buy it. Yes, yeah, she did. <laughs> a 
Okay, next up we have this one right here, and this is Fire at Will from Javoy. The person that influenced this purchase is none other than Muffet Loves. Now, I watch a lot of fragrance content, but she was the first person that I heard speaking about this fragrance. Maybe it has to be over a year ago, because I've had this over a year. And I was like, hmm, I need to try it just because of the way she described it. And she did not tell a lie. I like to call this one a very obnoxious vanilla in a good way. It's like, to me, it's like a straightforward vanilla with some mimosa, brown sugar, musk, very easy to wear, just very pretty girl. Gives me some good time on my skin, maybe five to six hours and the projection is moderate. I get tons of compliments when I wear this and it's not, to me this is not like a cupcake vanilla. There's something, maybe it's the amber, there's something that just gives it a little bit more depth and I love it. I love Fire at Will. When Muffet talked about this fragrance, I was like, uh-huh, she got me. She got me good. And I sure did purchase this one. And I love it. I always go in between which one do I love more, Escapade Gourmand or Fire at Will. It depends on the day. But today I'm picking Fire at Will, okay? Because this one is absolutely stunning. Thank you, Muffet. Thank you, Muffet, for putting your girl on. <laughs> Next up, we have Sharita M. And guess what? Of course, she influenced me to purchase her own creation. And I love that for me. This is a very sweet, intoxicating vanilla with some toffee, some ice cream. Very grown woman. This is not a baby girl vanilla. This is grown and sexy. Mmm. It's very addictive. It's truly, truly addictive. I mean, look at my dent and y'all know where I live. Yeah. <laughs> and this is one of the prettiest bottles. I love this bottle. I love the ombre effect. This is an amazing fragrance, Sherita. Kudos to you for creating this vanilla for the vanilla lovers. Um, I don't get to like, you know, although I have a big dent, Obviously, I live in a very warm climate and I don't get to wear it a lot, not as much as I'd like. So I always go through my collection and I do like a little smell by, you know, like a drive by smell. And I might wear it in the house when it's hot outside because my house is cold or whatever. But this one right here, very sexy, intoxicating, lovely, lovely vanilla, that toffee, that ice cream. Mm. And I think there's, yep, some amber in the base. This is a gorgeous one. If you have not smelled Monte Cassinade, because I don't even think I said the name, Monte Cassinade from Navitas and Sharita M. Definitely, definitely a vanilla worth having. Thank you, Sharita, for creating this and influencing me. <laughs> okay, next up I have this one right here, and this is Vanilla Diorama from the House of Christian Dior. And who influenced me to purchase this was none other than simply Aisha. So if you watch Aisha's channel, you know that she's into more of like the deep, you know, unisex kind of fragrances like that. She's not into too many like pretty girl fragrances. So this was a blind buy. And I was like, hmm, the way she described it sounds like something that I could definitely deal with on a date night or whatever. Now, when I got the fragrance, I'm like, I could wear this many different places. This is, to me, like a really bright yet boozy fragrance. You get a little bit of that cacao and then... It's just like sweet, vanillic in the dry down. Just a perfect blend of booziness, spiciness, and vanilla. I, I don't know how, uh, how else to explain it. Very gorgeous on my skin. Giving me up to about seven hours. It projects fairly well. Compliment getter for me. 
again, in my climate, I don't get to wear it out as much, but I wear it. I wear that sucker. I wore it to work maybe two or three weeks ago. <laughs> Somebody call the perfume police. <laughs> yeah. Vanilla Diorama. This is a purchase I do not regret. And I thank Simply Aisha for just, you know, kind of egging me on to purchase this one. <laughs> she didn't know she was doing that, but that's what was happening, you know, in the background. It's like, go get it, girl. Go get it. But yep, this is Vanilla Diorama from the house of a Christian Dior. Gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Um, Definitely not like a pretty girl cupcakey vanilla. This is a bold one. This is a spicy one, yet very sweet in the dry down. Check it out if you have not already done so. Thank you, Aisha. <laughs> Next up is a whiff of a waffle cone. Who influenced me to purchase this? Who talks about this fragrance more than anybody that I, that I watch? Anna Lauren. She is the one that made me want to get this fragrance. The way she described it, like, you know, it was like literally smelling a waffle cone. Ah, oh, it's so good. It is so good. It's yummy. It's caramel. It has like amorous in there that gives it kind of like a woody base. Something for that sweet vanilla to hang on to. So this vanilla has a little bit of depth. It's not your run-of-the-mill cupcake vanilla. This is a pretty one. Mmm. Yep, a whiff of a waffle cone. Thank you, Anna Lauren. This one's a banger. I love it. I absolutely love it. And your description made me buy it. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have this one. The infamous Ani from Nishane. The ginger. The seductive. Oh my gosh. Yeah. AI the Great. AI the Great did this one. She is the one that when she's talk about Ani and Ani and it's so sexy and the ginger. And I love me a ginger note. And she was like, and it's the ginger for me. And it's so, mm-hmm. You done did it, AI. You know, you know how you do. <laughs> Sexy, spicy vanilla. Mm, I think it's great for cooler weather, but who's going to check me, boo? Who's going to check me when I wear it now? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody's going to check me. I'm going to wear my Ani whenever I feel like it. But I will spray accordingly so I won't choke anybody out. But... This is a gorgeous fragrance. You know, it had its time, like, I think maybe about two years ago, all the girls were talking about Ani raving, but I love it. It's still very, very relevant in my collection. And I know exactly that it was AI's recommendation for a sexy date night. I remember Ani from the house of Nishane. Next up, it was from Abby with Love baby cat from YSL now after that recommendation after I got baby cat and she um she talked about it I was like yes there are a lot of people that talked about it but she convinced me and then she started talking about Odia excuse me from Penhaligon's Odi Audacity I did smell it I did go to Neiman and I smelled that one and it's so similar I think I might prefer the other one better but for now for now Baby Cat from YSL, very spicy, very sexy, um, incense-y, leathery kind of vibe. Great for a sexy date night. This is not, this is not your girly play play vanilla. This is not it. This is for the grown woman at the back of the room, okay? The grown woman wearing a baby cat. It's very sexy to me. I reserve it for date nights. I never wore this, wore this to work, or have I? No, I don't think I have. I don't think I've been that bold, but yep. Baby Cat from YSL gives me about six hours on the skin and it's moderately projecting. And yeah, not for the faint of heart. You have to like that incense -y kind of vibe. It's not your regular vanilla. Now, if I want to wear this and I want to sweeten it up a little bit, I would add like Fire at Will or Escapade Gourmand or even Vanilla 28 to kind of tone down all the spicy, incense -y vibes. But when I'm pulling for this, nine times out of 10, it's sexy date night and I wanna smell just like that. So yep, this is Baby Cat from YSL. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Spiritus Double Vanille. Hmm. 
A lot of creators talk about this fragrance. This this is, you know, one of the goat vanillas. The Guerlain vanillas that, you know, second to none, the way they do it. Gosh, this is so special to me. So ladylike. See, I have the big old bottle. Who influenced me to purchase this? Jack's Beautiful You. And it was more so, yes, she described the fragrance perfectly. But, you know, she has the pink hair and she talked about... I think it was her grandbaby that helped her pick it out and I don't know that drew me in it really did draw me in and I was like I want this fragrance I don't have grandbabies to help me pick out anything but <laughs> this fragrance is just like a really really special one in my um collection what do I have here this is one of the classiest booziest vanillas I love it I really love this one I wish it lasts longer like everybody else that owns it I wish it would give me a little bit more time on the skin but guess what I'll just over spray and spray some more um probably one of the reasons I got the big old bottle because I just love this one so thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Jack's Beautiful You, for recommending this fragrance. Um, every time I pull for it, I think about your description. I think about your pink and your grandbaby. And yes, Spiritus Double Veni from the House of Guerlain. Jack's Beautiful You made me do it. <laughs> Last and certainly not least is this one right here. And this is Vanilla Planifolia from Chloe. <laughs> Guess who influenced this one? The perfumeness. It was Chris. It was Chris. The way Chris describes this is just spot on. It's like a really light, airy green vanilla that you can wear in the warmer months. Nothing cloying, not too sweet. It just fills up the room. I just sprayed it. I sprayed a little bit on my hand over here too. And I love wearing it. And it's perfect for my climate. Perfect vanilla for those hot Florida days. You could definitely pull this one off. I have here it's such an effortless blend of sweet florals with a nice woody base. So if you have not gotten your nose on this one, Artelier de Fleurs, Vanilla Planifolia from Chloe. Get your nose on it. I know it was sold out for a long time, but then Nordstrom brought it back finally and I was able to get my hand on a bottle. So, yep. Thank you, Chris, at the Perfume Nest for influencing this purchase. It's definitely one that I am absolutely enjoying. Okay, y'all. So that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed trying finding out who made me spend my coin on these vanilla fragrances. All these vanilla fragrances that I spoke about, I absolutely love them. They all have a time and a place in my collection when I pull for them. You know, I'm not sure if I'm like a vanilla girly per se, but I do have quite a few vanillas in my collection. But as you can see, they're not all like straightforward, cupcakey. Most of them actually the ones that I spoke of today none of them are like that but I do have one or two that are like that in my collection so yep thank you so much for watching and like I always say we could be anything in this world we want to be with a little hard work dedication and of course perseverance but while we're getting there and even if we're already there we're gonna smell like good people we're gonna smell fabulous at all times see y'all in the next one bye bye